it's Danny Vittori from LCTV News, and we're down here at Central Square at the T Station for another edition of Man on the Street to see what people think about the closing of this station on July 25th for renovation. How do you feel about the fact that they'll be shutting down this station for renovations? Um, it's very unfortunate, um, especially on the weekends. I did notice that they're going to be closing even on the weekdays, and the travel already is a problem. Um, even with them placing, replacing it with shuttle buses, they normally don't really come to the stop very often, um, as often as a commuter rail will come. So it's an inconvenience um, overall. Ever since they opened this station in 92, should have been renovated every year. Um, Making it very short notice is uh, unacceptable. Uh, there's tons of people who ride this line every day just to get to work. Um, my significant other parks at the garage right here, and now she has nowhere to park. So hopefully the MBTA will find parking for residents who park here. How often do you use this train? Is it every day for you? Every day, Monday through Friday. How often do you take the train? You commuter? How do you take it? So I live in Lynn, but I work in Somerville. Um, and unfortunately, I do work on the weekends. So that's making my commute even. It's making it worse because now they're like doing the shuttle bus from here to, I think it's Wellington, but it's like the orange line. And it's like it's pushing you back further from where you're trying to go. Like North Station is like the main part to where you can get everywhere, the green line, orange line, wherever you need to go. It's added a two hour time onto my one hour travel. So it's taking me three hours, so I have to get up earlier. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter what time you come out for the shuttle bus because it's just never here. This is a big part of Lynn. And without this, there's no way for people to go to work. Watch DLC TV News Monday through Saturday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. on our public access channel, or visit lintv.org news for videos, press releases, and more for free.